Hey everyone, welcome to part 12 of this trophy and achievement guide for the original Final Fantasy VII. We're just leaving Fort Condor as Sid, heading back to the High Wind, and now we're going to fly south until we get to the Medeal area. But before we go inside, we're going to make a little alteration to our materia. We put a lot of materia on that was green and red in order to boost up our magic stats on Sid and Red 13. We now want to take that off of them because that was lowering our HP. And at a low level, the next fight that we have to be in can be very dangerous. So take off everything that lowers your HP, mainly just the green and the red materia. Make sure that someone still has the restore materia on like Barret so that you can heal yourself. But other than that, we're going to keep everything the same that it just was. We'll save the game quick and then go inside Medeal. We just have to run down the path and go back to the health clinic where Tifa is waiting for us. So once we get here, let's go inside and have a little scene. It's no use. I don't understand a thing, Cloud. What should I do? What if you never recover for the rest of your life? Yeah? Coming. They're coming. What did you say, Cloud? Uh, uh. What's going on? What's this? The last dream is gushing up from below the surface of the earth. That's... this is bad. Sid, what's wrong? N nothing You and Cloud, get inside, quick! But I... Hey, don't worry about a thing. I ain't about to die that easily. Be careful. Okay, here I go. Watch this. Oh, that stupid weapon. Of all the times to show up. Okay then, come on. Here we have a fight against Ultimate Weapon. This is one of the major bosses of the game. It has 100,000 HP, but we don't have to take care of it all right now. In fact, it shares that same HP pool throughout all the times that you fight it, which will be many times going forward. This battle has a fixed script and attack pattern. He'll begin the fight with Quake 2, and then he'll use a claw attack. Then he'll use Ultima Beam and finally flee and fly away. If you happen to be fast enough, you can try to steal a Cursed Ring from him, but it's not very necessary because we already have one of those that we got for free inside Medeal. The main thing that you want to do here is just to try to stay alive as best as possible. If you can take away a little bit of his health, that's good, but mostly you just want to throw up Big Guard, make sure that you're healed, use White Wind, anything you can to try to survive. Survive. The reason that I have Elemental paired with Titan on Barret is just so that he's able to survive that initial Quake 2 more easily. He's got a good shot at surviving this, but even if two of your party members go down, you just need one of them to survive those couple attacks that Ultimate Weapon will do before eventually he flies away and that's the end of the battle. So that's all there is to it. Just stay alive for right now. When we are stronger, we're going to find him again and finish him off because that unlock some things that we need to do for some trophies. You get no rewards for this fight, so it doesn't matter if your party members die, only one of them needs to stay alive. Hey you, you trying to escape? Man, just a little bit more and I would have smashed him. It looks like the life stream has settled as well. You gotta be kidding! The, this is bad. The main stream is kicking up. Something way bigger than that last one is on its way. 
No good. Get out of here. But what about Tifa and Cloud? Don't have time to worry about anyone other than yourself. Don't know when that stream will blow. Whoa! There's no time. Hurry! Tifa! Cloud! Get out of here! Oh god, the tremors are getting worse! Wait a minute, Cloud. Doctor, shouldn't we move him somewhere? Hmm, it might be safer to move to an open area. Don't you worry about a thing, Cloud. I'll see to it that you get somewhere safe. No, the structure can't take it. Hurry! Yes! Ready, Cloud? We're leaving now. Where am I? What's happening? I... Where's Cloud? Cloud, where are you? Huh? What? Who? Who is it? I can't hear... Wait a minute, I know nothing about that. No, it's not me. I'd never do anything like that. No, stop it. Stay back. Somebody, help, please. Cloud, help me! Yeah! Where am I? Cloud? What is it, Cloud? What is this? Is this the inside of your dreams? Or is it your subconscious? You're searching, aren't you, Cloud? Searching for yourself. I can help too. We'll work together to try and get the real you back. But, where do we start? Let's start by going up and talking to the cloud at the top of the screen. The gates of Nibelheim. Five years ago, Sephiroth passed through these gates. And, that's how it all started. It connects to Nibelheim? That's right. It's probably best to start from there. Let's go have a look, Cloud. I know it's not easy, 
I'll be here for you. Cloud, look! Here's the well. And that's Gramps in too. The only truck in town. It's been here since we were little kids, right? This is the Nibelheim you remember, right? It's the same as my Nibelheim. That's why this is our Nibelheim. Five years ago, two men from Soldier came. Sephiroth and a young and vibrant soldier. Can you tell me again what happened? How does it feel? Five years ago, I saw the real Sephiroth for the very first time. It's your first time back in your hometown in a long time, right? So, how does it feel? I wouldn't know, because I don't have a hometown. Um, how about your parents? So, this is the great Sephiroth? My mother is Genova. She died right after she gave birth to me, my father. But to tell the truth, I thought he was very cold. What does it matter? Alright, let's go. I remember a foreboding about him. No, Cloud. I've been hiding it for some time, afraid that if I told you, something terrible might happen. But I'm not going to hide anything anymore. You weren't here. Cloud did not come to Nibelheim five years ago. I waited, but Cloud never came. The two that were ordered here were Sephiroth and another person. Alright, let's go. You mean that member of Soldier who came with Sephiroth wasn't... Cloud? There's nothing I can say. You must find the answer yourself. If you can't, then... Take your time, Cloud. Slowly. Little by little, okay? Now we're going to run down and over toward the left side to talk to the left side cloud. That starry night at the well, and our promises. What if the memory was all just a lie? Don't hurry, cloud. Don't answer too quickly. Just keep checking all those small emotions and it'll come back, slowly, little by little. Right, like the sky that night, the heavens were filled with stars.
from the beginning, okay? Try and remember, Cloud. I was wearing these clothes. That's you too. You were so small then. And cute. Sephiroth once said, Cloud made up his memories by listening to my stories. Did you imagine this guy? No, you remembered it. That night the stars were gorgeous. It was just Cloud and I. We talked at the well. That's why I kept thinking you were the real Cloud. I still believe you're the Cloud from Nibelheim. But you don't believe in yourself. These memories aren't enough. Cloud, what about your other memories? No, not memories. A memory is something that is consciously recalled, right? That's why sometimes it can be mistaken or wrong. It's different from a memory locked deep within your heart. That's why it must be a fake. If he could recall up that memory... That's it! What about some memory that has to do with me? If I say something, you can't remember it. But if you say something and I remember it too, then we'll know that's a memory. Talk to me about anything, some important memory to you. Now that you mention it, why did you want to join Soldier in the first place? I always thought it was a sudden decision. I was devastated. I was devastated. I wanted to be noticed. I wanted to be noticed. I thought if I got stronger, someone would notice. Someone to notice you? Who? Who? You know who. You, that's who. You. Me? Why? Tifa, did you forget about those days? Look, I... I'm sorry, but what are you talking about? No, it's alright. You were having a hard time back then. You were so busy with your own things, it's only natural you don't remember me then. Then? It's important to me. I hate to say it, but it's a very important memory. Do you want to see it? A sealed up secret wish. Tender memories no one can ever know. Do you know where this window goes to, Tifa? Fine, I'll go. My room? It was my first time there. Was it? I only used to look up at it from outside. Hey, look! 
Cloud's coming! You think he wants to come in? Was that the first day you came into my room? That's right. We live next to each other. But I really didn't know you that well. I've known you since we were children and always thought we were close. Now that you mention it, I don't recall you ever being in my room. Tifa always used to have her own group. That's right. I thought they were all stupid. What? You were all childish, laughing at every little stupid thing. But we were children then. I know. I was the stupid one. I really wanted to play with everyone, but you never let me in the group. Then later, I started thinking I was different. That I was different from those immature kids. That then, maybe... Just maybe, they would invite me in. I thought that might happen, so I hung around. I was so prejudiced and weak. That night, I asked Tifa to come out to the well. I thought to myself Tifa would never come, that she hated me. It was so sudden, I was a bit surprised but it's true we weren't that close but after you left town I really thought about you a lot I used to wonder how Cloud was doing I wondered if you were able to get into Soldier I started reading the newspapers thinking I might see an article about you. Thanks, Tifa. Tell him what you told me later. He'll probably be so happy. Okay. Huh? What happened on this day? Was it a special day? This was the day. Tifa's mother. The day mom died. I want to see mom. I wonder if there is anything beyond that mountain. Mount Nebel is scary. Many people have died there. No one crosses that mountain alive. How about those that died? Did Mama pass through the mountains? I'm going.
I don't remember the path I walked. Tifa missed her step. I ran to her, but didn't make it in time. We both fell off the cliff. Back then, I only scarred my knees, but... Cloud, why'd you bring Tifa to a place like this? What's the matter with you? What if she dies? Tifa was in a coma for seven days. We all thought she wouldn't make it. If only I could have saved her. I was so angry at myself for my weakness. Ever since then, I felt Tifa blamed me. I went out of control. I'd get into fights with anyone. That was the first time I heard about Sephiroth. I thought if I were strong like Sephiroth, then... If I could just get stronger, then even Tifa would have to notice me. So that was it? Sorry, Cloud. If I had only remembered more clearly what happened, I could have done something sooner. It's not your fault, Tifa. But I remember back when we were eight. That's it. Now I know. You weren't created five years ago. My childhood memories weren't all made up. Hang in there, Cloud. Just a little longer. You've almost found the real you. Let's go back to Nibelheim again. Cloud, wait. Where are you going? The reactor? To the reactor, the Mako reactor of five years ago. Hey, it's Cloud! Zack... 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 You remembered! That's right, it was Zack who came to Nibelheim with Sephiroth! Then... Where were you, Cloud? Cloud, did you see it all? I saw everything. Remember during the Calm flashback sequence where I showed you that Cloud was equipped with the preemptive materia? That explains how he was able to get the drop on Sephiroth right here. Ah, who, Mom, who are Tifa, you? My town. Give it back. I had so much respect for you. I admired you.
cloud. That's what happened. You were there. You were watching me. Yeah, I remember. Hmm, so it was you? Hey, Cloud, if you're feeling sick, why don't you take that mask off? Yeah. Yeah, this is me. I never made it as a member of Soldier. I even left my hometown telling everyone I was going to join, but... I was so embarrassed, I didn't want to see anybody. How does it feel? It's your first time back to your hometown in a long time, right? I'm... You came. You kept your promise. So you really did come when I was in trouble. Sorry, I didn't get there sooner. It's alright, Cloud. Just like you. I find this scene interesting because Sephiroth is left-handed and holds his sword normally in his left hand, but in this scene he's clearly holding his sword in his right hand and Genova's head in his left hand, and that might explain something in the next scene. Cloud, kill Sephiroth! Sephiroth! Don't push it. Here you can see Sephiroth stabs Cloud with his right hand, and if he's not used to fighting with that hand, that could explain why he has a disadvantage here, and Cloud is able to do this to him. It can't be! As you'll see soon, Cloud does mention that he is physically built like someone in Soldier, so it would be possible for him to be strong enough to do this to Sephiroth, especially if he was already injured from being stabbed. And while Cloud has the physical strength to be in Soldier, he does not have the mental strength. He deals with a lot of doubt and anxiety, even claustrophobia and motion sickness. These are things that Shinra would not find favorable as a member of Soldier. Cloud. Then, this is goodbye, Tifa. Until we meet again. This whole section, to me, is a large metaphor for personalities and psychology in general, and it draws on a lot of famous concepts, such as the Freudian concepts of the id, the ego, and the superego, represented by the different persons of Cloud here. There's also the idea of Carl Jung's shadow, which is represented by the shadowy Cloud that we saw earlier, and it's when you integrate all of these aspects into yourself, including integrating one's shadow, the capacity for for evil, violence, and malevolence, that you become a whole person. And the whole person of Cloud is very different from the cold and uncaring version at the beginning of the game. The true personality of Cloud is someone who cares, not only for other people like Tifa, but for the planet itself. And he realizes that although he is kind of a monster and he's very violent, he can use that in order to help others and to protect the people and things that he loves and cherishes. 
cloud! Uh, uh, uh. Uh, Tifa. Oh, Cloud! It's really you, isn't it? Yeah, Tifa. We finally meet again. You stupid jerk! You had us all worried sick! Ugh. Cloud, are you alright? Voice, there. I see. We're in the life stream, aren't we? Everyone's waiting. Let's go back, Cloud. Back to everyone. Yeah, I guess so. Come on, Tifa. Let's go home. You all right, Tifa? Uh, uh. Barrett, you came back. I. Cloud, where is he? Don't worry about him. He's a tough one. Barrett, I. When I was in the live stream. I saw the real cloud. I mean, I didn't really find him. Cloud, he found himself. Alright, I know. I shouldn't have doubted. But I can't win against you. You're some kind of lady. People have so many things pent up inside of themselves. So many things they can never forget. Strange, isn't it? Yo, Tifa! Snap out of it! Tifa? Everyone, I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. Don't say anything, Cloud. All you've been doing is apologizing. I never was in Soldier. I made up the story about what happened five years ago and my being in Soldier. I left my village looking for glory, but never made it into Soldier. I was so ashamed of being so weak, then I heard the story from my friend Zack and I created an illusion of myself made up of what I had seen in my life. And I continued to play the charade as if it were true. Illusion, huh? Pretty strong for an illusion. Physically, I'm built like someone in Soldier. Hojo's plan to clone Sephiroth wasn't that difficult. It was just the same procedure they use when creating members of Soldier. You see, someone in Soldier isn't simply exposed to Mako energy. Their bodies are actually injected with Genova cells. For better or worse, only the strong can enter Soldier. It has nothing to do with the Genova reunion. But weak people, like me, get lost in the whole thing. The combination of Genova cells, Sephiroth's strong will, and my own weakness are what created me. Everyone knew that. I'm Cloud. The master of my own illusionary world. But I can't remain trapped in an illusion anymore. I'm going to live my life without pretending. You're sure messed up, Cloud. 
That means he ain't no different from before. By the way, Cloud, what are you going to do now? Don't tell me you're going to leave the ship. I'm the reason why Meteor is falling towards us. That's why I have to do everything in my power to fight this thing. Good. Then you're going to keep fighting to save the planet? It's like you always told me, Barrett. Oh, uh, you mean that? What? I don't understand. There, there ain't, ain't no, no getting, getting off, off of this train. train. Well, that was a lot of story stuff, but now we're going to switch gears and go after a new trophy. Let's start by running down to the bottom of the screen where we'll get stopped by the man. Cloud, I was deeply moved by your story. I'm really a weak person, and so I can really understand how you feel, Cloud. No one knows when fighting will begin, but let's get ready. Well, that sounds like good advice. We're going to put our party together. I'm going to take Tifa and Sid, and once you close out of the screen, you'll have another cutscene to go through. Listen, Cloud. We're right in the middle of the mission for the huge materia, right? I know this is kind of out of the blue, but Junon has an underwater reactor. As far as I can see, that's the only one left. That's that. Let's go. So we're going to go down and talk to the pilot to start flying. Now before we go on, I'm just going to land the high wind in the grassy area, and now we're going to change up our equipment and our material a little bit, so let's run through that. So Cloud is equipped with the Yoshiyuki, the Imperial Guard, as well as the Ribbon to protect against all status ailments. Tifa has the Power Soul, the Bolt Armlet, as well as the Curse Ring, which gives her a big boost to her attack, but she starts the battle with Death Sentence, but don't worry, we have an answer for that very soon. And Sid has the Javelin, as well as the Edenco, and the other ribbon that we've picked up. Now let's go ahead and look at all their materia, starting with Cloud, he has the enemy skill materia, as well as Comet, and then on his armor, he has Gravity with All, All, and Lightning, and Elemental with Fire. Now let's go over to Tifa, she's got Counter Attack, Luck Plus, Chocobo Lure, Long Range, and on her armor she has Added Cut with Death Blow, and she also has Added Effect with nothing paired to it. Don't worry, we're going to fill that very soon with something. And now over on Sid, he's got Time linked with All. He also has another All Materia, which is linked with Restore so that he can heal our whole team. He has Neo Bahamut as a summon. He also has the other enemy skill, Manipulate, Magic Plus, Cover, Morph, and Steal. And we don't need to put anything in that last slot either. Save the game if you want to, and then we're going to hop aboard the High Wind and fly ourselves over toward Nibelheim. We have a lot to do over there. We're going to get a new item to teach Tifa her final limit break. We're going to get a new summon, a new character or a party member, and we're also going to get a new trophy as well as explore the remainder of the Mount Nebel area. So let's fly over toward the Western continent past the Gold Saucer and just over this mountain range, we're going to find Nibelheim nestled right between the mountains. Once you go inside Nibelheim, we're going to Tifa's house, which is going to be on the right side in the middle. And now that we're here, we're going to go upstairs and play the piano. We have to do a certain tune, and I'll show you how to do that. So uh, go interact with the piano, say, ah, uh, go for it, and then you can say, I remember. This should sound pretty familiar to you as we play through it. I put the notes that you have to play in order on the screen as well as the chart for what you have to do. So basically it is X square triangle and then R1 and triangle 
r1 and square. Then the second line is x square triangle r1 plus x circle x square x. And when you put it all together, it sounds like this. Press start when you're finished and Cloud should say, I've heard this melody somewhere before, I played it well, and then Tifa will come out. I have the sheet music for that song. Huh? Wait a minute. There's something inside the music sheet. Tifa, what's happened to our town? Was it all an illusion or just a dream? No, it was neither. I remember trying to get people out of the flames, but not having the strength. Burning with anger, I went to the reactor to kill Sephiroth, but he was nowhere to be found. Instead, I found you collapsed inside. I felt saving you was far more important than going after Sephiroth. There were several others that were still alive inside, but I was only able to save you. As I was coming out of the reactor, Shinra troops were just arriving. I recall a scientist named Hojo was in charge. He ordered the troops to gather up everyone still alive for the experiment. I didn't know what type of experiment he was talking about, but I wasn't about to let them have my dearest student. Putting you on my back, I headed down the mountain to the village. I used the cure spell on you many times and started to head for Midgar to look for a doctor for you. I didn't like that city, and my cure spells weren't helping. I decided to go to Midgar to find a doctor I could trust. I'm worried about you, but I can't settle down in one place for very long. Have you recovered fully? Are you well? I wonder how many years have passed since then. I just got into town again, but I can't believe it. The whole town is back to normal, except for the strange people with black clothes all around. The town reeks of Shinra, but I won't go after them. You may think I'm running from them, but it's just that I don't want anything to do with Shinra anymore. Feels like time is running out. I'm sure you'll find this letter, and this gift for you. It should come in handy. I can't even jump anymore, but I hope you continue to sharpen your skills and remember what I taught you. To my most precious student, from Zangin. Received Final Heaven, which is the item that you give to Tifa to teach her her final limit break. However, we can't do that just yet because we haven't taught Tifa all of her other limit breaks. So just like Aerith, we will have to train Tifa and teach her all the other limit breaks before we can teach her Final Heaven. Now that we're all back together, let's head on outside and we're going to go over toward the Shinra Mansion. We haven't really been here so much before outside of the one time we had to do it for the flashback sequence, so this time we're going to go into it for real in the present day. Once we get inside, we're going to go up the staircase and then over toward the left side once we get up to the top. If we go straight across, we can go into the room to open this treasure chest, which contains an enemy launcher. That's a new weapon for Barrett. Let's go inside the room on the north side, and there's a safe here. Cloud has a bad feeling about this, but we'll choose to open the safe. You've got 20 seconds to input a very specific series of four numbers. Start by holding the right directional button until you get close to 36. You want to land exactly on 36, and then press X. Then go back toward the left, and then press X once you reach 10. Go all the way to 59, press X when you get there, and then finally go to 97 and press X. You cannot go over these numbers even by one, so you need to be very careful to land exactly on those numbers. If you can put in all four numbers within that 20 seconds, then the safe will open and you will be put into a boss fight. This boss is called Lost Number, and he actually has a couple different forms. This is his blended form right now. He's a mixture of physical and magical. He's got 7,000 HP, and he does hit pretty hard, but luckily that low HP value means that we can kill him pretty quickly. Thanks to that curse ring, Tifa's already started off with Death Sentence, so we don't have to spend time casting that enemy skill. Instead, we can go right to casting Big Guard instead. Tifa just going to try to Death Blow and Added Cut, and then Sid and Cloud will just use Magic Breath. 
once you get the enemy down to below half of his health, he will change forms. If the attack that hits him and brings him below half health is magical, he'll turn red like this, and then he'll focus on using magic attacks. At that point, use physical attacks. But if it was a physical attack that dropped him below half health, then he will switch to a physical attacking style, and you'll have to uh, attack him with magic instead. So it doesn't really matter if you attack him either way, you'll kill him pretty quickly. A cross slash will paralyze him, and that will guarantee that a death blow will hit, and then that should end the fight pretty quickly because of that boss's low HP value and the amount of damage that we can do with Tifa, especially with that cursed ring. So once that's done, we do get the Cosmo Memory item. That is how we teach Red 13 his final limit break. Inside the chest, we're going to grab the key item key to the basement. We'll need that in a moment, and we'll grab the Odin materia off the ground. We'll go into the materia menu, and then go over to that empty slot in Tifa's armor, and we're going to put Odin there. So now she has the added effect paired with Odin. And if you look at the status now, you'll see that she is now defending against death. So that means that even though she begins the battle with death sentence, if that 60 second timer runs out, out, it won't matter because she's not going to die. So we're totally protected against being killed by the curse ring and we only get the benefits from having it on now. Let's leave that area and go all the way to the right side. We're going to now go up and into the room at the top. We can open this treasure chest to grab a magic source, and then we're going to backtrack down and go toward the bottom section here. Let's run down into the basement area around the spiral staircase. I do get into numerous fights as I'm going through here, but they're not really important. I just ran away from all of them, so I don't have to show those, but we're going all the way into the basement, down this purple hallway, and over toward the top part here where we can use the key to the basement to go inside and then we're going to inspect this coffin to wake me from the nightmare who is it I don't know you you must leave you were having a nightmare how bad was your dream Hmm, a nightmare. My long sleep has given me time to atone. What are you saying? I have nothing to say to strangers. Get out. This mansion is the beginning of your nightmare. You can say that again. Do you know something? Talk about Sephiroth. Like you said, this mansion is the beginning of a nightmare. No, it's not a dream. It's for real. Sephiroth has lost his mind. He found the secrets hidden in this mansion. Sephiroth? You, you know, know Sephiroth? Sephiroth? You start first. That's how it was. So Sephiroth knows he was created five years ago, and about the Genova Project? He was missing, but has just recently reappeared. He has taken many lives and is seeking the Promised Land. Now it's your turn. Sorry, I cannot speak. Hmm. I'm disappointed. Hearing your stories is yet another sin for me. More nightmares shall come to me now than I previously had. Now, please leave. Let's talk to the coffin one more time. You are still here? Who are you? At least tell us your name. I was with Shinra Manufacturing in Administrative Research, also known as the Turks. We're going to keep the default name of Vincent. 
Vincent. The Turks? Formerly of the Turks. I have no affiliation with Shinra now. And you? Former soldier, Cloud. You were also with Shinra. Then do you know Lucrezia? Who? Lucrezia. The woman who gave birth to Sephiroth. Gave birth? Wasn't Genova Sephiroth's mother? That isn't completely wrong, but just a theory. He was born from a beautiful lady. That lady was Lucrezia. She was an assistant to Professor Gast of the Genova Project. Beautiful Lucrezia. A human experiment? There was no way to cancel the experiment. I couldn't stop her. That was my sin. I let the one I loved, the one I respected most, face the worst. So the punishment was sleep? That's weird. If you try to talk to him again, he's just going to say, let me sleep. So let's go ahead and leave and go over toward the right side for a special scene you can only get after getting Cloud's memories back. Hey, this is your food. Oh, here! Put this on. It smells a little, but don't complain. You look pretty good with that. Well... Yo, old guy! We at Midgar yet? Shut up. You're lucky I even gave you a ride. What are you going to do once we get to Midgar? I know what I'm going to do. I got a place I can crash for a while. No, wait. The mother lives there, too. Guess that's out. Yep, gotta change my plans. Hmm. No matter what I do, I need some money first. Hey, wanna start a business? Now what could we do? Hey Cloud, think there's anything I'd be good at? Hey old guy, what do you think I'd be good at? What are you yapping about? You're still young, ain't ya? Young folks should try everything. You 
gotta pay your dues while you're young. Go out and look for what you really want. Try everything. That's easy for him to say. Hey! Of course! I got more brains and skill than most other guys. That settles it. I'm gonna become a mercenary. Yeah, thanks Pops. Hey, did you even hear a word I said? Listen, I'm gonna become a mercenary and that's that. Boring stuff, dangerous stuff, anything for money. I'm gonna be rich. So Cloud, what are you gonna do? No, wait, you got it all wrong. Just kidding. I won't leave you hanging like that. We're friends, right? Mercenaries, Cloud. That's what you and me are going to be. Understand, Cloud? What do you want to do with him? Uh, uh. Forget it. Just leave him. If you want to see this scene in all of its high definition glory, be sure to check out my Crisis Core Reunion Trophy Guide that I have also on my channel. Well after that scene, let's head back out toward the left and we're going to run down the hallway and eventually Vincent will step in and will offer to join our party. Wait. If I go with you, will I meet Hojo? Dunno. But we're after him and Sephiroth, so I guess sooner or later. Lucrezia. Alright, I've decided to go with you. What? You're coming with us? Being a former Turk, I may be of help. Alright then. And we get the trophy called Won't You Be My Valentine for successfully recruiting Vincent Valentine into our team. We're going to keep the same party set up though. We'll be using Vincent very shortly, but for right now we'll just keep Tifa and Sid on the team. And now we're going to run all the way back upstairs around the spiral staircase until we get up into the top room. From here we're going to leave this section and go back out into the main hallway. Let's go down the stairs, and then we'll go away from the camera into the back room. From here, we're going to go over toward the right. If we go up to the top part, we can open up this treasure chest for a twin viper, a new weapon for Yuffie, and then we'll go back toward the left and back down. Now we're going to go over toward the right side of the screen and enter into a new room. We'll circle around, and then we can open up this treasure chest to get a silver megaphone, a new weapon for Kate Sith. 
we'll go back out into the main area and this time we're going to run up the stairs and we're going to go back to the room with the safe in it there's a very special enemy that we need to find in this room and it really only seems to spawn right around here in the safe room so don't bother looking for it anywhere else just come to the safe room and find this enemy called Jersey these enemies have an enemy skill called question mark question mark question mark question mark which is a kind of an interesting attack it does damage based on the difference between your maximum and your current to HP but luckily because we're not injuring them at all it will do zero damage to us so we just have to wait around until they use it on the characters who have the enemy skill materia and once you learn it then you're gonna be good to go you can steal some turbo ethers off of them that's a really good thing to try to do and then once you steal that turbo ether go ahead and have Tifa just attack them using that death blow and added cut you should be able to take them out no problem at all and then this fight will be over and we'll be on our merry way. Alright, and that is going to be all that we have to do inside of the Shinra Mansion. We never have to come back here ever again. So let's go ahead and leave this place, and then we're going to go back outside. We want to go back to the high wind, so let's run down, and we're going to go through the main part of town here, and back outside the main entrance. We're going to hop aboard the high wind, hold down the square button, and then hit left. You'll go straight across toward the left, and then you can park over here. We're going to go into the back side of Mount Nebel. It's a shortcut to where we want to go. So let's run around the path here and when we get down here, this is about the area that we fought Materia Keeper a long time ago. We're going to exit out the bottom part and then we can jump down from the higher platform to the lower one. Let's go inside this room and then go around toward the right side following the path. Once you get up toward the top, you can circle around and come back down. Now we are encountering another one of those big green dragons but this time he doesn't stand much of a chance against us at all. If you want to try to get Flamethrower onto the other enemy skill person, now is a good time to do that, otherwise Tifa can just take this guy down with one death blow and added cut. So that just shows you exactly how powerful she's become over time. Now that that fight's over, we're going to keep going down along the path here, and then you can go through the little doorway thing at the top, circle around toward the left, and go down to open up this treasure chest which contains an elixir. We're going to head back up toward the top, circling around the path again, and this time we're going to go out the top exit. As you go through this area, on the left side of the Mako Fountain is a materia on the ground. It is an elemental materia. This is the third and final one that you can get in the game apart from mastering an elemental materia and having another one be born. Now let's go out the northern exit and in the next room we'll go over toward the right side all the way and then start looping around toward the left. We can open up this treasure chest here for the Sniper CR. That's a new weapon for Vincent. Let's head on down through the right exit exit and then we're going to follow the path all the way around toward the left there are numerous fights that you can get in along the way I just happen to edit all of those out so you don't have to watch me run away from all these fights but feel free to fight if you really want to it doesn't matter we will do some grinding for kills and for levels very soon so you don't have to worry about this section so much you can just run away and once we get past this reactor we'll go around the back side and in through the door from here, we're going to start going down this ladder just to pop it down, and then we'll climb back up all the way to the top where we can go into the five different pipes at the top. What we want to do is to go into pipe number four, that's not all the way on the left side, but just one in from the left side, and then we can scoot all the way down this chute and at the bottom we can open up this treasure chest for an all materia that's all that we're going to grab inside of the mount nebel area we're going to go all the way toward the right side and exit out the bottom right corner we'll be able to run along the path and get back outside and that is going to do it for part 12. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this episode and the other videos in this series, please be sure to give me a like and also comment down below. Those things are small, but they really do help me out quite a bit. In the next part, we're going to focus on getting some huge materia and the rewards that go along with that. The game is really starting to open up and there's a lot of great things that we can do and a lot of fun to have in the coming part. So make sure that you're subscribed so you never miss an upcoming 
upcoming episode. I'll see you soon for part 13. Until then, thanks for watching and have a good day.